You're a topaz. Being in the Serpents is your birthright. We are a family. I'd like you to reconsider joining the gang. You want me back in the Serpents? Make me queen. I mean, since I'm legacy and all, right? You know I can't do that, Tony. Because of Betty, right? Then I'm not coming back. What are the pretty poisons providing for you that the Serpents can't? An opportunity to lead. With the pretty poisons, I rule. We're a sisterhood. You're Cheryl's vanity project, you mean? <laughs> and you're wrong about the Serpents still being a family. That's what we used to be. Not anymore. Anchor your hand at the corner of your mouth. Use your dominant eye. Now, relax, my pretties. Release! Brava! Now go again. Nice work, poisons. They have an excellent mentor, T. They certainly do, babe. Something wrong, Montresor? Jughead. He tried to convince me to rejoin the serpents. That worm? What did you say? No, obviously. Uh, he had the audacity to call us a vanity project. But don't worry, babe. I'm gonna figure out a way to put him in his place. show Jughead just how poisonous we pretties can be. Right, heads or tails for this, ready? Heads. Tails mine. Tails what? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello, well, ladies. Hey. Evening. <laughs> uh, look, girls, we don't want any trouble from your little sorority. Don't call us girls and don't belittle us. Or what? You gonna challenge us to a pillow fight? Seriously, Cheryl, what is this? We're the pretty poisons, pea brain. And we're here to deliver a message to you and your leader that we are not to be dismissed or trifled with. Ladies, <clears throat> introduce yourselves. <laughs> hey, uh, take honestly, it easy, okay? Don't want any trouble. If... We, um... Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey. hey TT. Check out my new nail color. It's called Vigilante Violet. What do you think? I heard what you and the girls did a Sweet Pea and Banks. The Serpents needed to know that the Pretty Poisons are here to stay and that we're not to be trifled with. I said I was going to handle it. The purpose of our gang isn't to air out your petty grievances or to pursue your personal vendettas. It's for protection and community. I was sending a message, planting a flag. Oh, cut the crap, Cheryl. Let me ask you this. Is this gang mine or yours? It's yours, of course. Then never deploy the poisons that way again without asking me. Is that clear? It's a bottle of sparkling San Junipero water. But this room is reserved for the farm from three to four every Wednesday. Not every Wednesday, you daughter of Manson. The third Wednesday of every month is reserved for monthly student council slash LGBTQIA meetings. I didn't see your name on Mrs. Bell's activity calendar. You dare lecture me, your student council president, on rules and procedures? If this were the 18th century, I'd have you beheaded. Hey, bitches. We're in the middle of a quest here. <laughs> Go crawl back to the freak show for once you came, you abomination. Stop high school or a Roger Corman movie. You two have to say it for yourselves. The fight had already started when we got Sir. We were trying to break up the fight. Mr. Jones, Miss Topaz, you're the leaders of your respective gangs. And today's brawl is only the most recent incident of gang activity at Riverdale High. Someone robbed the chemistry lab last night. Someone robbed the lab? Thousands of dollars of equipment was taken. All of which could be used to cook drugs. <laughs> Serpents don't cook or steal. Neither do the pretty poisons. One more strike. One more strike! You're done in high school. What's going on with you, Tiji? 
Has my beauty rendered you silent? Or are you still in the mood to put your sit down with Weatherby? Well, if I'm being honest, yeah. I had that classroom reserved as student body president. Babe, you wear many hats. Stunningly. But when you put on that purple jacket, you represent our gang. And now Weatherby's out for our blood? I can handle Weatherby. Cheryl, I don't want to have to suspend anyone for loose cannon behavior. Least of all, my own girlfriend. Agreed. That would make hosting Pretty Poison's meetings at my house incredibly awkward. Don't you think? Unless you have another headquarters in mind. With a pool. The girls can't wait for summer. I'd like to offer the Pretty Poisons full-time employment at Le Bon Nuit. My girls aren't waitresses. You misunderstand me. Gladys Jones and my father swan around Le Bon Nuit as if they own the place. And I fear that their presence could cost me my business. As well as my sanity. I need muscle to keep them and their cronies out. That's where your pretty poisons come in. What do you say? Oh, and I have an advance. If you have to run this idea by Cheryl. That won't be necessary. We've got a deal. Every day. First night of the new job. You coming tonight, babe? Mm, nah. I think I'll pass. Feeling a little under the weather tonight. Well, see you later. I'll be asleep. Sorry, lady. Can't admit you. Excuse me? The new house rules, Mrs. Jones. You're not allowed into Le Bon Nuit without an engraved invitation. You think you can stop me? Gladys, step off. I've hired these young ladies here to block your admittance to my establishment until you learn to play by the rules. My rules. Hmm. Perfect for Quebec, n'est-ce pas? I don't understand. Who's going to Quebec? I thought, since you've been working so hard with the Pretty Poisons, it might be good for the two of us to get away together. So, I booked us a spring break ski trip to Mont Blanc! Me and the Pretty Poisons were planning on doing a road trip to Sugar Lake. Fine. We don't have to go to the mountains. We don't have to go anywhere, ever. I'm not saying that, Cheryl. Okay. Shoot. Sorry, I'm running late for work. Can we talk about this later? Archie. Hey, Red Hot. What's in the basket? Freshly baked cherry scones for my TT. A gesture of goodwill after a disagreement we had. Do you know where she's stationed tonight? You'll see her downstairs. seen Tony, have you? Not since she gave me an envelope of money. Come again? Money for what? I believe she called it rent. Fascinating. Well, what do we have here? Lying in wait for me? Color me shocked. Oh, please. Earlier tonight, you were casing the place. And you wanted me to know it. So, what are you gonna do now? Cuff me?
agreed. But I think we need to talk about what's going on between us. What is that exactly? I think you have a problem with the poisons because for once I'm in charge of something and you're not. False. I'm upset because you seem to want to spend all your time with them instead of me. Cheryl. Love you. Yeah. I can't spend all my time cooped up in that house in your bedroom. Our bedroom. That's exactly it. It doesn't feel like our bedroom. It's entirely yours, your space. It sounds, Tony, like you regret moving in with me. Well, maybe it was too soon. Too fast. In that case, Maybe you moving out is exactly what needs to happen. Thank you for loaning me the gym. So give a big Heather's hello to Riverdale's resident fly girl, Tony Topaz. Does anyone have a chainsaw? Because what the... We'll start with some simple steps. Yeah, we got it, thanks. Uh, Tony has some fantastic choreo. How very. But my Heathers and I have worked out our own choreography. Come on, Cheryl. I'm trying to be professional here. Can you not? Are we gonna have a problem? You just gotta prove you're not a doorknob anymore. Then step into my candy store. You can join the team Or you can bitch and moan You can live the dream Or you can die alone You, you can, can fly, fly with the eagles Or if you prefer Keep on testing me And end up like her Whoa for breakfast? You're wearing my signature color. You don't own the color red. Red existed before you. Not at Riverdale High. Here? I invented red. I am red. Sorry, but this school is not big enough for both of us, faux pink lady. And I was here first. So, go to Centerville High or Westerberg. I don't care. But you have until first bell, Monday, to clear every trace of yourself out of these halls. Copy. What is that, drain cleaner? No. It's an olive branch. So you're here to beg for clemency? No. For us, what are we doing? What are we even fighting about? Babe, what was love like in your family? It was all or nothing. Pure adoration or distilled hate. Thornhill was a den of shadows. And JJ was my only light. And he died, and it was dark again. Until you. Then I felt like you were disappearing on me. But I'm not gone. I'm right here. And maybe it's not too late for us. Don't, Don't stop, stop looking in my eyes. Your eyes. If you could let. And 
now for my favorite part. Blot. Parfait. This color was made for you. We have to get you a tube. <laughs> Sign-up sheets are posted throughout the school. The club is open to all students. Where the one become many, and the many become one. So, uncap those pens, sharpen those pencils, and sign up. A little birdie told me it's what all the cool kids are doing. Whatever the farm did with Cheryl, I'm holding you responsible. How the hell did my girlfriend become queen of the farmies overnight? It's Edgar. He is a con artist. He's somehow convinced my mom and Cheryl that they can talk to the dead. Excuse me? Cheryl thinks she's been talking to Jason. She says she sees him, but Jason's dead. Everybody knows that Jason's dead. True. And there's proof that Jason's dead, that he was murdered. What are you talking about? <sighs> I'm gonna send you a video. Clifford Blossom shooting Jason. I kept a copy of it on my laptop. Show it to Cheryl, and hopefully it will be enough to snap her back into reality. Why would you show this to me? Because you needed to be reminded of the truth. Cheryl, you're not talking to Jason at the farm. The truth is all right there in this video. Tony, this video is clearly fabricated. With technology these days, anything is possible. Detractors can spin any story they want. Cheryl, have you ever hugged Jason? Yes, of course. Now, enough of this third degree. Evelyn, what are you doing? Tony, you're detracting Cheryl from her studies at the farm, but I'm not gonna let you ruin her. Ruin her? Bitch, I love her, and she loves me. The farm is fulfilling Cheryl in ways you can't even begin to imagine. I find that hard to believe. Have a blessed day. Cheryl, are you going to a meeting at the farm? Indeed, my love. Do you think these Louboutins are too flashy for kombucha brewing? Well, how about if you didn't go? Why wouldn't I? The farm needs me tonight. I need you tonight. I need you in every way. Mind, body, soul, but uh, mostly body. Evelyn said, I have to make a choice. Jason, who are you? You sure old Jason's a ghost? I'm right here. You love me. I'm sorry, Tony. I do love you. But I've loved Jason my whole life. I'm not gonna let this happen. There has to be a way you can be with me. And Jason. There is. You're willing to open your mind to it.
to interrupt your no doubt thrilling catch up chums, but as you know, junior prom is this weekend. The theme is fire and ice and naturally, Tony and I are campaigning to be the most captivating prom queens the school's ever seen. So it goes without saying, vote Shoni for co-monarchs because when you really think about it, no other options make sense. Cheryl, what are you doing? Campaigning for prom queen is strictly forbidden. Forbidden? What's up with that? The farm prohibits it because it goes against our strictures of equality. Remember, the one become many, the many one. Easy for you to say, Evelyn. Aren't you like 30? How many proms have you been to? This is a test. You can either be queens for one night, or you can live in the glory of the farm for all of eternity. Which would you prefer? Honestly? Both. I'm sorry, you won't get to be prom queen, babe. I know how important it was to you. It's okay, TT. Edgar gave me something better than a queenship. Humility. You can't mean that. <sighs> no, you're right. I can't and I don't. And suddenly being a farmie is making a lot less sense to me. Fangs, are you okay? Yeah, I'm still a little sore, but the big pain is gone now. So. What are you talking about? Fangs had a minor procedure done. What kind of procedure did you have? It's a uh, purging of all of the pain that's been crushing us. I can't wait for mine to be gone, too. Hold on, Cheryl. You're in pain? Like physical pain? Well, it's just part of Edgar's methods. He transforms our emotional pain into physical pain. So it's easier to treat and banish. But me first, babe. That's right. TT's next to mine. For me, the tenderness in my back only lasted a few days, but it was so worth it. <laughs> oh my god, Kevin. That scar is not from a minor procedure, that's from major surgery. Don't ever do that again. Cheryl, the farm is a front. Kevin Fangs, Edgar took their kidneys. There's a refrigerator filled to the brim with human organs. The farm is an organ farm. Are you trying to get shipped off to Shutter Island, you lunatic? This is why he keeps adopting kids for his human chop shop. Based on the price list I saw in the infirmary, it's lucrative as hell. Infirmary? If there's even a chance you're right, Tony's procedure is today. The nurses just took her away. Okay, go, go, go get Tony. I'll get Kevin and Fangs. Are you nervous? Don't be. Let's go. But my treatment. There's a chance Betty's cries that the sky is falling are true. Look at those instruments of torture. No, please, can we go? There's a door I snuck Betty in. Lead the way, my Monte Cristo. Stop those girls!
just come here to save you from the farm. How'd you get out? Please, 